I believe it's the largest ever recorded explosion in history. Um, it, it was a huge explosion. It changed the climate around the world for a couple of years in 1816. So yeah, we we're pretty excited to actually go to the summit and go into what's known as a, the caldera, which is a descent into the bottom of the crater itself. It's six kilometers in diameter, and I believe at the highest point, it's about 1.3 kilometers deep. It's unreal. It's fantastic. It's huge. It's massive. Um, and you, you know, there's continuous uh, landslides. Massive boulders are just running down the side of the mountain, dust coming up, you, know, you, you can literally hear it. You know, as the sun comes up, it's stunning. And the sun, once it gets up, it starts to reveal more and more components of the, you know, the volcano itself. Getting to the summit itself, we trekked for one day, camped one night, and then the real journey begins, and that's the, the actual descent. And you're looking down, you're thinking, my God, how are we ever gonna get down there? It looks like 90 degree drops. And we get the ropes out. You know, there's no, there's no safety, there's no helmets. There's potential rock slides. Um, you've got nylon rope they put down for you, which you literally have to go hand over hand. There's no harnesses. And you, you know if you're injured, if you sprain your ankle, you break a leg, or worse, you're not gonna be out of there for another three days. The only way out of there is a helicopter. beautiful water source running through there. It's unbelievable. Just pure, fresh water running all the way through. And from that the trees grow, there's grass, there's little trees. The photography is hard um, because the, the light was so harsh and it was dusty and there's gas. You know, the lighting was pretty poor during the day. Um, that was one of the biggest challenges. I thought, God, I've come all this way. The company's put their trust in me and the, the, the lighting is absolutely horrible. You could say it was like Mars, I mean, it's, it's, it's like a lunar landscape. When you get down there, there's, there's gas coming out of the side of the mountain, there's white rocks, there's massive gouges in the bottom from the floodwaters, there's boulders everywhere, and it's hot. It's pretty severe down there. But luckily, there's this amazing full moon. You know, amazing. It's a cloudless sky, beautiful light, the light's above us, and it's perfect photography. You know, it, it looks like day, almost. It's unreal. The clarity's there, there's no dust, the wind's gone, just this beautiful, pure light. I thought I got some quite nice sh shots. I, I, we just bought a drone and I was pretty nervous, particularly flying it off the, the top of the crater. You know, it's a kilometre drop and you think if, if you lose this thing you're never going to get it back again. You know, it's very, very interesting. It, it definitely opens up a whole new perspective of, you know, photography for me. Um, it was hard, and to be honest, you've kind of got a feeling you're not sure whether you're going to get out of there because it's, you know, there is a danger aspect to it. But, you know, we were lucky to, you know, to come out injury-free. <laughs>